Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. As always, it's the middle of June, and Jess and I are out with Everett on the Restigouche River in northern New Brunswick. This is the first time Jess and I have ever done this river, and it has not disappointed so far. This is the second day on the river, but it's actually the third day of our trip. It was about a five and a half hour drive up here from where we live. So we stayed at the gorgeous Chalet Restigouche the first night. What an amazing place, wow. They're situated right where the Kedgwick River flows into the Restigouche River. And their sprawling property features 10 plus log cabins you can rent of various designs and sizes. A full campground, a restaurant, walking trails, and even a small fly fishing shop. Not to mention easy river access for boating. We'll definitely be coming back up here to check them out again. We spent our first night on the river here at the campsite at Whitebrook Island, and it's exactly what the name says. It's an island right in the middle of the river. It's really cool. It rained pretty hard on our drive up the first day, but all day yesterday was absolutely gorgeous, and the views are just stunning. There's these huge rolling mountains and valleys just everywhere. Around every corner, it's just a more breathtaking view. It's incredible. With the high water current and a slight breeze at our backs, we were able to cover over 30 kilometers yesterday with very little effort. All along the river you see these freshwater brooks with cold, clear water flowing down from the mountains. We figured this one would be a good spot to stop for some lunch. And of course, some of Everett's stories.
There's absolutely gorgeous, what I'm sure are multi-million dollar camps down through here because this river is renowned worldwide for its salmon fishing. Actually, just down below where we're camping, there's a spot called Million Dollar Pool, and there's been helicopters flying back and forth, dropping people off and picking people up there so they can go fishing. This is Larry's Gulch, which is just above Million Dollar Pool, which is actually owned and operated by the New Brunswick government. Each of us MB residents is eligible to enter a draw each year for an all-expense paid salmon fishing trip here. Our names still haven't been called yet, but here's hoping that someday soon in the future they will be because I would love to stay here and to get that free salmon fishing trip. Unfortunately, most fishing along the Restigouche River is heavily regulated, and you can be required to have a special license and a guide with you, which is not cheap. We each did see a salmon yesterday while we were on the river. Everett saw one jump, Jess saw one in the water, and I saw one belly up laying on the bottom of the river. <laughs> But once we got here to our campsite, there was some guys actually salmon fishing right in front of the site here. And we watched them reel in a few big ones. That was pretty cool. That was a huge fish. Wow. We've been up for a bit now, we've had breakfast and we've got camp all packed up. We're just loading the last bit of stuff in the canoes. And we're gonna hit the water again and see what today's views bring. Yeah, the couple we were talking to last night said they haven't seen the water this high this time of year in like 40 years. So there's where the Patapedia River flows into the Restigouche. So that means we've made it all the way to the Quebec border. Our trip's about 90 kilometers overall. We've gone about 35 of that now. We put in roughly here. And we camped here last night. And we're hoping to make it possibly to here today. We'll be taken out here on Sunday. So we stayed here last night at White Brooks Island. We were hoping to make it all the way to Jardine Brook today, but we only made it about half as far as we planned here to Gilmore's. 
But that wasn't a problem because how could we pass up this view? So we had two interesting incidents today. First of all, the couple that we were talking to last night at the campsite, they mentioned to us a bunch of times, there's gonna be two sets of rapids today. Make sure you stay left, make sure you stay left. They told us that over and over again. Well, they were local to here and the people who are local to here, they have these long canoes with uh, like outboard motors on them and they go up and down the river. And so we're thinking that she was thinking left when they were going up the river yesterday on the way to where we were because the by far the worst part of both those sets of rapids was on the left with the water as high as it was there was some pretty high waves there i didn't even have time to get it on film because we got sucked into them so fast being on the wrong side of the river luckily we made it through and secondly about an hour ago we just got hit with a rainstorm we weren't expecting it rained pretty hard for about 20 minutes but now it's over and everything's drying back up again, so no big deal. The only issue was the firewood that we had already cut and split got wet, but just had to split a few more dry pieces and we'll get that wet stuff burning too.
We're in the mountains, so we gotta try some moonshine, right? That's right. Okay, here it goes. That's good. I gotta say, this is probably my favorite campsite bathroom I've ever found. You have a giant mountain to one side of you. And you got a babbling brook down to the other side. And then in front of you, this is your view. That was the nicest morning trip to the bathroom I've ever taken. Everett whipped up some of his famous campsite bannock to go with our breakfast this morning, which if you don't know is sort of a fried flatbread. And it's just delicious, especially on an overcast cool morning like this to get the day started with some nice warm bread with some jam or some syrup on it. Oh man. So it's day four of our trip on the river now, day five of our trip overall. It's raining now. The weather seems to change about every 30 minutes up here in the mountains, but that's just part of the experience. We just stayed put at our last campsite here at Jardines Brook last night and relaxed today. We'll take out down at the rafting grounds tomorrow. We went through Chamberlain Shoals just before the campsite yesterday, and with the water this high, that was a pretty wild ride, eh? Oh, it certainly was. <laughs> Like, I looked to my side, we went to the right through there, and if you had went right through the middle, I looked to the side, to my left, as I was going over to the right of the river, there was like six foot waves. Oh, yeah. I, was, I took a look over out of the corner of my eye, I was like, oh dear, and I just kept going along. <laughs> <laughs> there was nothing you could really do once you're in it, but we got through it fine. Yeah. It was actually pretty fun, because there's no, like, obstructions or anything, so as long as you can stay pointing forward, you're fine.
probably the end of the mountains. So there's where the Upsalquitch River meets the Restigouche, which means we're almost to our takeout. So when we were coming down out of that last section of mountains where the river really widens out, holy cow the wind picked up there coming down off the mountains. I actually had to pull over and rearrange some stuff in my boat because I was getting spun around just like a top. Well that's the end of a trip we've been planning for a long time and it did not disappoint. Any final thoughts from you guys? The views are breathtaking. How about you Everett? <laughs> the water ride wasn't bad itself. <laughs> <laughs> water was a little cold but we didn't fall in so it was all good. Thanks, as always, for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me if you haven't already. And you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Waterborne Camper.